This is what's known as the sanctuary. You can see it's especially dense. They got yotes just growing in the middle of this creek. The reason this is bare soil right here is because the water does run through here when it uh, when it rains. And there's a little guy right there. There's little guys everywhere. But this soil is very, very specific right here. Uh, this is where the creek kind of runs into. And this is where we have the densest population of Lofafer. You could see it was obviously running thick enough to stack up all this debris, mostly misky leaves about 10 inches high. And stepping right on through here, you can see it was a virtual uh, little creek running through right through here. And this is that's probably why it's so especially dense here like that. That's all one single clump. That's all one single clump, probably a century or two old, if not older. But, uh, you know, people think that peyote and other cacti from South Texas, uh, it's 90 degrees and humid as a nutsack right now, by the way. They think that these plants need lots of pumice. They do, if you're growing them at temperatures below 80 or 90 degrees. At 80 or 90 degrees, that's the perfect temperature for them. Uh, you know, it's, it'll be 100 degrees here for six months out of the year. It's very humid. That's what gets their metabolism going. That's the temperature that their metabolism evolved with. That's when they're going to be most active, both metabolizing and photosynthesizing. Right? It cools down to 80 degrees at the coolest at night uh, between April and November. So look at these massive. And they're growing in mud. This is not, this is not fast draining material right here. This is, this is mud. This is silty, sandy clay. So it's not the soil that's so important to them. You use a lot of pumice and you're in a you know, place like Southern Arizona or South Texas, you're gonna kill them. It's gonna be far too dry. They can take a lot of moisture. You can water these and many of the other native cacti here whenever the soil's dry and temperatures are above 80. I mean, look at this. These things were underwater for a few hours. The water was rushing through here. This, this is not fast draining soil. The water likely pooled up. This would have been underwater. You know, eight inches, that guy would have been underwater. All right, this is the habitat you see in South Texas. West Texas, West Texas is a different story. It's much drier, and they don't grow out of the ground like this. They both basically grow recessed into the ground and flat. Here, it's different. Oh, look at that guy's getting ready to flower. So it's the humidity. It's hot as balls, and, uh, you know, they're growing in really thick, fine particled soil. What a wonderful habitat. I feel privileged and honored to be around these guys whenever I come. Anyway, that's all I got. Have a great day. Go fix it. Bye.